What's up guys, this is Sean Tan and today we are in the Mines Resort This house is actually 9,700 in terms of build up, right? And the land area is 7,500 square feet. Six rooms, nine bathrooms. So we are now in a leaf and it's pretty crampy here so I think those days leaves like this are not very not very advanced but it's quiet so we are now in the second floor so what's up guys today again uh, shout out to me Susan for showing me another luxury segment bungalows in the mind so now we are in the second floor first floor first floor living area so just to understand that behavior for the upper class right they have a lot of guests to host and it's not very convenient to always meet outside and these people also are very masra i would say masra in terms of a malay language is called very friendly and if you can see, this is one of the only living rooms uh, that you see. That's like, I think, four living rooms, but it's just like different rooms for different kind of occasions. This is connected right next to this central kitchen on the first floor as well. Just a scale of how big this is, right? I think this is this floor plate itself is larger than an office space. Besides that, this is all built up, I think, by an architect itself. People usually buy land here and erect their own building of their choice. And usually they will deal with developers and as well as an architect. So everything is pretty well thought of and there's nothing much to comment actually. than my room. Team and for her as well as the bodies. So the second floor which is usually the highest floor right is usually again for family members. So this is a small family halls and common areas like this usually are designed to improve relationship between the households what I mean is that sometimes the parents come out so it's a common place to make meet and chat something to talk about is also like columns like this should not happen because it's a waste of space it can be easily blend in to one of the walls but the architect would and the client would actually prefer to actually have that profile of window you look at this angular these angular things, right? These kind of windows outside to actually look super cool from outside. So if you saw the drone shots, it looks spectacular. But however, inside you have things like this. 
So we are now in the smaller room, one of the smallest room in the house itself. And to, to have that special form of the building, right? sometimes the structure needs to accommodate to that form. Therefore resulting in structural elements like this in the room. So this would be pretty troublesome to manage in terms of interior design by side. And Chinese feng shui, Chinese lah. So we don't like to actually sleep under this beam on top of you. So the internal space would need to actually suit or switch to accommodate to that. So it's really whether you want a plain facade or you want more futuristic facade that has elements like this. However, just look at the view. So you have houses of different, different designs over here and all of the landowners will just get their own architects to design their dream home. <sighs> so nice. So from the private living room, there's this stairway up the rooftop of bungalow itself and let's just tour you around okay that side are the golf resorts so you can actually hear people teeing off these are the different different house and you see there there's actually one house that is Balinese concept so all these bungalows are all constructed individually with their very own respective designs so before they were constructed, they looked like this. They look like those kind of lands where it's plot and plot of land that you can buy and you can start building houses like this. That is the lake. And those are the mountains. As you can see from the drone shots, those looks, those look amazing. Amazing and so quiet. Uh, I think one of the houses here also belongs to our current Prime Minister. That is something very cool. Those are the flats for military people because there's a military university around and then there's a military camp around. So many might not understand like why do I need a roof garden like this. Uh, but if you think from a person net worth that can actually own a seven, not own, but build a seven million dollars bungalow, right? This is used to impress and host business associates as well as their friends. So, whew. so I think there goes for the tour of the house. It's now time for Sean take three on three. The three things that I really like, number one would be the form of the house. The form because it's like, you know when you start buying apartments, then you start buying up terrace houses, you upgrade to semi D bungalows. Ultimately, you will buy land and you build your own dream house. That's like the ultimate dream for a real estate person. Number two would actually be the location. Although it's a distance away from the major cities, but then you cannot, we cannot comprehend this using our normal worker mindset, right? These are business people, these are huge tycoons that has all these kind of properties. The way they operate and think are different and privacy and serenity and that sense of space are more important. So next to this house itself is a golf course, then there are huge lakes and you can basically hear nothing but your own noise. Third thing that I really like would be the security part. So when I was going to access the neighborhood, right, they will first you will first need to register yourself, then you need verification of your registration. Then when you go there, they will ask you again to know the exact address. If not, you must be accompanied by a real estate agent or the person in charge. Then when you reach the house, the security guard actually follow you until you reach the house. And they actually call the owner itself to verify that we are visiting. So all these are just impeccable. The three things that I wish that can be improved would actually be the details of the house itself. When we build normal standard houses, 
usually they come in a form that is very standard and very efficient in terms of engineering. With the form like this and the details of the window lines, everything is very unique but it's very difficult to construct as well. So you put in a lot of effort and a lot of time to construct things that don't really make a lot of sense. Like the small staircase of going up to the rooftop, then the waste of space for columns that don't know should appear from where, right? So these kind of little details actually matters. Number two would actually be the room sizes. Although they segment the privacy in terms of uh, ground floor public, second floor semi-public, highest floor private for all the family members and of course the rooftop. So that's how they segment the entire house itself. But like if I have such a big mansion, right? Why my room needs to be that small? Last of all would actually be the distance between houses. Although bungalow lots and bungalow lots all are individual titles, but then houses to houses are way too close for my own good. So I, this is the difference between modern and individual houses, right? Modern houses like Strata, you have the sense of space in terms of openings where you have less gate, you have less boundary. So they actually blur out the boundary using landscapes and things like that. However, in this kind of more conventional developments, the outlines of the boundaries are greatly emphasized. So in conclusion, right, the house is absolutely stunning. Uh, just that it may be up to preference of different people like because it's constructed individually in accordance to a person's preference so buyers like this will usually then we need to check out whether it's right for them and their family or not so this particular property is selling for 8.5 million so when I said 7 million it's not there so that's just the neighboring average price but this house itself because of the value that he brings, he, he thinks that he brings, it's 8.5 million to the table. So, what's cool is also the pathway to the house that is a bit more, so you are actually living in the golf course itself. Yeah. So I think that's all for this episode. So again, once again, shout out to Miss Susan for showing me. She has all this contact for luxury homes like this. So thank her for showing us this particular one and for more info, contact her below. If you like this video, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, see you guys. Ciao. Bye.